how to install tag manager on wordpress hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to install tag manager on your wordpress website so let's get into it first of all what you guys need to do is you're going to open up your wordpress website that you are editing or you already have so you're going to get to your site admin and you will end right here you can see this is my wordpress website dashboard then what you guys need to do is you're going to actually go to tagmanager.google.com and you will land right here. Tag Manager is actually an app by Google, which allows us to uh, create uh, tags and it is like a Google tags and we can have access to all of the different, um, you know, websites that we create. We can connect to Tag Manager to a website to increase the SEO and to improve the SEO of a website. How to install Tag Manager to a WordPress website? Well, you have to actually go to the plugin section right here and click on add new so once you get right here uh, you will see we can add different plugins here and you will get the search bar in search bar i'm going to search for tag manager so here we have a uh, tag manager and you can see we have a site kit by google analytics search console adsense and speed so when it comes to a Google Tag Manager, we can actually connect it by connecting our Google Site Kit. Now, so Google has provided us with a site kit to add to a WordPress website that will give us all of the tools, not just the Tag Manager, but I will be able to get my Google Analytics, my Search Console, AdSense and Speed as well. So we can get our uh, Tag Manager uh, by adding the site kit. So that's what we can do. Or there's another way we can do that, actually. If you do not want to go for the site kit, you just want to add the Google Tag Manager. So for that, you will actually need to create an account first on Google Tag Manager. And then we can add and we can embed the code, uh, the pixel to our WordPress website. So there are two ways. First is installing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install now and site kit will be installed. After that, all you need to do is just log into your Google account with your WordPress website and you will be able to just connect your Google site. So you can see now it has been connected. I'm, I'm going to click on activate and this plugin will be activated. So now I'll just, you know, log in with my Google account here and site kit will be added. You can see start setup. So I'm going to select it. Here we have our site kit. Connect Google Analytics first. Sign in with your Google account. So let me do that. And now we have access you can see right here search console google uh, account gmail so i'm going to give access and continue and now we have our you know plugin here so in this plugin we will be getting google analytics and we will be getting different apps by google so this is the first way to connect your tag manager to your wordpress website then what you need to do is you're going to go to tagmanager.google.com and let's create an account click on create account and set up a new account in google tag manager so I'm going to do that. For instance, my company name. So I'm going to get the name here. This is actually the easy way to add Google Tag Manager to your WordPress website. If you feel like the plugin is not working, then what you can do is you can just simply go to Google Tag Manager and uh, do this setup. You're going to enter the account name. Then you're going to enter your country. Share data anonymously with Google and others. If you want to, you will select this option. Then we have to enter the site. This is where you will enter your website uh, for your tag manager. As I told you, this is the easy way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my site name from here. I'm just going to copy and paste the URL like this. Now we have a target platform. So now we can select a website, iOS app, Android, uh, AMP or server. So I'm going to go with a web. Click on create. And now you can see we have to give it the access. I accept. Yes, and your Google Tag Manager will be connected to your WordPress website. And now you can see install the Google Tag Manager. Paste this code as the head of the page as a possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one right here. This one, copy and create a new page there. Now you can see this is my WordPress website and it has been connected with my tag manager you can see this is the same website that i created i will be able to now create new tags here create uh, added descriptions we have triggers variables and folders there's one more thing that you need to do which is going to be going to your wordpress dashboard i actually like this method more rather than adding the g site kit but that was also uh, a method for you so what we're going to do is we're going to go to pages now and create a new page for the tag manager so i'm going to go with simply add a new page here okay so in title we're gonna go with a tag manager let's say this is going to be a private page so in this block what i'm gonna do is 
we're going to hit plus and we're going to get the code. Write the code. This is where I will paste my code that we had. So you will enter the code and hit enter. So now I have added a code to this page. So every time on my website, somebody will click on this page or I will be driven to my Google Tag Manager. So this is how you can embed a code into your website or you can go to your themes and add this as the head of the page. You can also get a body uh, code for your Tag Manager and add it into your website. So now our, uh, you know, tag manager has been connected to our WordPress. What we're going to do is you will see current workspace. This is a default workspace that I have and I have one website connected with it. You can switch to the tag section right here in Google Tag Manager and it will allow you to create new tags or choose from different tags. Let's create a new one. Click on new. And here I will add a configuration and a triggering here. You choose the trigger to make this tag file. And this is kind of like an automation platform as well. Then we have the triggers here. Again, I will be able to create different triggers. Then we have variables. Uh, in variables, again, I will get the URL. We have page, host name, page path, page URL, and refer. Then we have the folders. And at the bottom, we have templates. So I can also uh, search the gallery for the tag template. So click on search gallery, and it will show me some of the tags that are already created. And I can use a template to save time. And as a complete beginner, using a template becomes more easy. So you can see we have different uh, tags that I can import. For instance, we have one for 100 shoppers, where to buy widget script, uh, to be cookie, uh, 500 apps bought up, then we have forms IO, we have site recording and others. So for instance, I want to use any of these different tags that so what I will do is I will just use this template that already had uh, some of these, you know, triggers created. It has a description. So you can see add to your workspace. If I click on add to workspace, then I'll be able to use this template. So if you are a complete beginner, you can just go to template section here and create tags of your own. Then we have different versions here and admin. So within my admin, it will show me my personal details. And it is, you can see the container is the website, which is a WordPress website that we created. So this is how you can connect your WordPress website with your tag manager, or you can add tag manager to your WordPress website. This way you will be able to create variables, tags, and manage your website better. I showed you two ways how to add Google Tag Manager to your WordPress website. This way you can manage your website and create tags. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question. 